PMP exam keep on oscillating. What do I mean by keep on oscillating? It changes the difficulty level, right? Uh, sometimes it becomes comparatively easy. Sometimes it becomes comparatively uh, challenging. And as a PMP consultant, not only just my students, not only those people who you see here, but I am in contact with almost all of the top trainers in the PMP domain. And I keep on asking them because I'm kind of an obsessive person. Right now, in the month of September, the PMP exam, is of a, it, its difficulty level is towards high to very high. Okay. What does that mean for you who want to give exam in the month of September? This means when you go for the exam, make sure two things. Make sure these two things are in your control. First, you have solved the mock questions. You have solved the mock questions which are based on situational mocks. What do I mean by that? I still see on Udemy where majority of the people get their 35 PDUs and other uh, big institutes. The mocks are still ITTO based. The mocks are asking say, process, etc, etc in majority of the questions. Please, this is a very important thing. Do those mocks which are based on situational question. Okay? Which are based on situational question. The mocks that are more relevant to the exam. For example, let me give you how I make sure this thing. Like last week, I updated the simulator that I gave to my student. I have added 10 into 10, 100, 115, uh, 150, 250 questions I have added and almost 750 more questions I'm adding in my simulator. I'm updating it. And also I'm continuously removing something. This is important thing. Only get those mocks which are being continuously updated. Okay. So you can buy my simulator if you don't want to join my program and just want to get my simulator you can get my simulator, okay? Or if you'd want to do it other, there are some good simulator that I would recommend that you can get PM Prepcast is one of the good simulator. You can get uh, PM I have launched, it's study hall. Although it's still in beta stage, have a lot of problem, but it will be good in two to three months. And uh, then uh, Trady Broy on Udemy, I highly recommend his mocks on Udemy. Uh, Vagde, his mocks on Udemy, uh, EDU, HubSpot mocks, their mocks are good. Okay, these are some of the good mocks if you want to get that thing. So that, was the, that is the first thing that you need to do. Get some good mocks. First thing first. Second thing. Second thing I want to discuss with you is basically wherever you are doing, wherever you are solving question answers, whichever the mocks you are having, Please don't do questions on PDF. I, I still know, still in today's world, people are giving mocks on PDFs and things like that. Even if you are doing on PDF, let's put it that. Uh, whatever you have, please practice on time bound. Please practice your exam on time bound. What do I mean by that? You must manage time in the exam. PMP exam situational exam that was the tip number one tip number two time management manage your time of the pmp exam how can you do that like let's say you are doing your mock has 60 questions like there are two types of mocks that are available in the market 60 questions or 180 question whatever the mock is if it's six if you are doing 60 question if your simulator does not have a timer just go to google and if you don't know let me show you how to do that okay just to just go to Google, okay. This is google.com. Just put Google timer, okay, 60 minutes. Okay, just put this. The time will start and you now start solving the mocks or 60 minutes, or I would say for 60 questions, 75 minutes. Okay, Google timer for 75 minutes. You get a 75 minute timer, even if your organization from where you have taken that they haven't given the timer, put your mocks on time. Okay, so this is a very important thing that you need to look into that. Okay, uh, Marine, you are my student. If guys, if you are my students, then you don't need to buy any simulator. You, if you can do the mocks I am giving you, that is more than enough. Okay, otherwise, if you are not my student, 
then uh, I will put the link of the all the simulator and later on I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, so this is an important thing to understand that timing, timing, and secondly, situational questions. Exam questions has to be exam question has to be situational. Okay. Exam question had to be situational. That is very, very important. That is very critical to understand that thing. Situational question, time management. Now, let's come to the important thing. Now you are prepared for time management. How you are going to manage time in the exam? Exam is divided into three parts. 80, 75, 75. Okay. Like exam is 180 question, 60, 60, 60. Now you need to manage the time. For the first 60 question, put 80 minutes. Okay. Then once you are done with the 60 question, the exam is going to ask you, do you want to review or do you want to take a break? Please go take a break of 10 minutes. If you don't take a break of 10 minutes, that timer, that timer basically uh, will go back to that thing. So please take the timer, take your time, okay? Take your time uh, for 10 minute break, get back from the time, okay? Once you are back for the timer, once you have taken the break, now next 60 question okay next 60 question try to give 75 minutes for that please understand this thing please please understand this thing last 60 questions in the last 60 question you must have 70 to 75 minutes 75 is ideal but minimum 70 minutes okay uh, now because if you can get that 90 percent of the time first 60 questions will be difficult challenging may be impossible the second 60 questions will be a little more difficult the last 60 question the last 60 questions are mostly easy the last 60 questions are mostly easy so if you don't have time for the easy questions you are wasting yourself a pmp right this is a very very important thing you are wasting your pmp opportunity 80 75 75 80, 75, 75. Achha, important thing. Another important thing, let me uh, clarify here. People say that, uh, Dipti, this is the tip that I am giving right now. This is the most important tip. Uh, further on, I can also give it to you. Just message me. I'll share you personally. Achha, let's say you are solving the first 60 question. And you are at question number 50. And you see that 75 minutes have passed. The timer is running in opposite direction. 230, 229, etc., etc. 230 minus, what is 230 minus 80? The first section should be 80 minutes, right? So what is 230 minus 80? Put in the chat box. How would you know that 80 minutes have passed? You will get 150 minutes there. So let's say the exam is showing 175, uh, 175, something like that. Okay. The exam is showing 175 minutes are left. Now hurry up. Read the last line. That's why I teach. Read the last line. Read the last line. Option. Pick your answer. Move forward. Even last four or five questions are you do in the right uh, quickly. Okay. Or just did the best guess. Does not matter. It's just four or five questions. After that, you have 120 question later on. That is the most important thing that I want you to manage. One, 20 questions. Okay. So you go into the break, you take your deep breathing exercise, things like that. Relax. Now the second section. Same goes for the second section. Once you are done with the 120 question, ideally you should have 75 minutes. But let's say you are 170, uh, you are at question number 110 and the clock is showing that only 72 minutes are left or 75. Hurry up. The next 5-10 question, try to solve in 4-5 minutes. Again, it does not matter. Again, it does not matter that uh, these 4-5 questions. You still have the last 60 question, And the last 60 question can make or break your PMP. A very important thing. So last 60 question that you are going to do, that can make or break your PMP. So hurry up and then go. To. Now you have 70 to 75 minutes. Let's say 70 minutes. Okay. Now solve the last 60 question. Relax with a cool mind. Solve the last 60 question. And I can tell you for sure you will clear PMP. 
80, 75, 75. If you have done situational questions, the hard exam questions, okay. Uh, if you are, if you are have done uh, time management, I'm sure you're gonna, gonna clear the PM things. If you have any question, please feel free to ask. I want to make sure every person who listened to this video he clears the exam. If you are my student, I, of course I want my students to clear, but I also want to clear you if you are not my students. Hi Gulam Nabi, hi Fawad, hi Zafar, hi Ali, hi Shakit, hi hi Alex, hi Osama, hi Faisal, hi Yas, hi Vinu. Walaikum assalam. Hi Omar. Hi Ashok. Hi Zafar Saab. Hi Omar. Hi Neha. Hi Ginu. Hi Hasib. Hi Ginu. Hi everyone. Hi Sana. Hi. Yeah, Marina, I answered you. Hi Mishtaq. Uh, thank you for joining us. And hi Ali. Thank you, Amir Ali. Oh, same name. Me and you. Uh, hi Marin. Hi Madhya. I have exam. I told you the tip I gave is it is the tip for the last day. Plus, just message me. I'll send you some material. I think, yes, it is very important video, Snan. This video can help a lot of students. Uh, yes, 150, 150. <laughs> Mohan, not 1500. <laughs> 150, 150, yeah. How many questions? Okay, Umar, PMI does not share that. How many questions you should get right to clear the exam? PMI does not share that. Okay. Uh, but interestingly, if you can get, like, if you can get 70% 70% uh, right, in the mocks, you would be good to go. Okay, I don't think so. There will be a big problem if you are getting 70% good mocks. Can you please tell me what's the passing uh, uh, short Spartan? Basically, the PMN does not share the passing percentage, but uh, for because the exam is qualitative, above target, target, below target. But if you are getting 70% in good mocks, that is the passing. Thank you, Marina. Hi Uday, hi Vasek, hi Flame, hi Avas, hi Didas, hi Vids. Is the demand PM according to survey uh, in the upcoming future? In the upcoming future, in by 2030, the demands of PMP it will be increased by 10 folds, by 10x. What is my logo? By 10x. So the PM becoming PMP is becoming more and more important. So if you are not even uh, certified PMP, this is the time to do certification as that. Hi, Omar. Hi, Matin. Hi, Renanga. Is it not a risk, Amir, to have four or five last question? No, it's not. My friend, in the first 60 question, you are just, uh, you are focusing on the bigger picture. Remember, remember, uh, Faryal, prioritize high value. In the first section, you are just playing with the first four or five questions so that you can get other 120 questions rise. In the second set, 60 question, you need to see, like, it's like, you have a million dollar and you have a hundred thousand dollar okay or well, let's say fifty thousand dollar and someone asks you which one you want you want to lose which one you want to lose fifty thousand option a or a million dollar option b you tell me you tell me my friend that is exactly thing okay thank you sadia hi yasir hi hi samita good to have you samita hi sadia Okay. Yes, guys, please like the video. Let's have 100 likes. Thank you, Sadia. Hi, Samir. Walaikum assalam. Good to see you. Hi, Sadia. Okay, guys, any question? Okay. What is... Okay, so this is an important thing with PMP exam. 50% uh, is process. 42% is people. And 8% is business environment. So it is that line that you have to go towards that thing. So I would say that if you get... Uh, target, target in both people, process, and business environment, you still pass. If you get target, target in people and process, and below target in business environment, still you pass. If you get target in process, below target in uh, people, still you can pass. Okay, so it's more of a 45 minute like that. Okay, uh, is there any possible we could start the last? No, 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 no. PMP exam is a scheduled question 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 60, then 60, 1, 2, 1, 120, and 120 to 180. You don't know where the questions are coming, which part of the question is coming first, which part of the question is coming second, okay? So it, they are all mixed. They are all mixed. You don't know about them, okay? You have no idea about that, okay? That's, you don't know. Simply is that. So you have to follow the PMI, first part, second, and third. Good question, Martin. 
let's start the video thank you hi pia how to manage lengthy question reading last line do we have any other approach okay i has understand this thing the seven step formula if you have my seven step formula if you don't you can ask me you can ask me i can send you that booklet also for you you can have that booklet with you the seven step formula is actually because of because of this thing how you to solve lengthy question step number 1 slow down okay don't get frightened from the long question most of the time when you are solving the question answers people get frightened because of the long questions long questions are actually more easier if you step number 1 read the question slowly okay read it super slowly that is what secondly secondly when you are reading the question in the exam as i am writing when i solve the question i write down things you can actually write it down in the pmp exam uh, mark it so mark the keywords step number 2 mark the keywords step number 3 of course read the last line first first and step number 4 use elimination technique and uh, if you can use this thing i am 100% sure you can solve all the long questions okay i have seen a lot of students they go for the exam but a lot of students are scared if you solve the mocks if you solve the mocks in the right way if you get good mocks and if you of course get good coaching okay get good coaching i am 100% sure you will be confident in giving the exam one of the purpose of the coaching one of the purpose of the coaching is basically this but i am saying that to help you coach that is the purpose of coach na to guide you to work with you till you become certified thank you sadia how can we check if any question is no you cannot check the pmi mix the question all questions are mixed you cannot check even if you pass or fail the exam when they give you the result they just shows which domain the exam is coming pmi does not disclose this information as you suggested uh, take uh, take a break will no 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 with the exam is 230 minute that is 3 hours 50 minute okay 230 minutes after 60 question let's say you solved after 80 minute the exam will ask you do you want to take a break or do you want to review and as soon as you press next for the break a 10 minute timer will start that timer if you don't take break you will not get that 10 minute in the exam okay you will not get that timer for your exam that timer is only for break and same goes for the second one clear thank you nida i use the same technique for scrum and cleared it thanks for the tips tarim now cleared uh, pmp with the same tips thank you very much mocks are the best thank you uswa okay what not to do in pmp exam don't panic this is the number one thing even let's say uh, you are you are supposed to solve question uh, in 80 minute the first 60 question but it took 90 minute or 95 minutes still calm down in the 10 minute break close your eyes relax just remember four or five things what you are gratitude about so that you can shift your mind and then in the next question stay calm try to complete in a way so that you have 65 to 70 minutes for the last section whatever happen don't lose your nerves stay calm and i am 100% sure that you will clear the exam a very good question p p i y that stay calm that is the most important tip i can give you control your nerves okay acha ji do i need to remember all theory technique name formulas uh, dipti in the exam you need to know spi cpi okay for sure you need to know a uh, three point formula optimistic guys put in the chat box what is three point formula that you need to know they without any doubt okay uh, like you need to understand that motivational theories whatever uh, they are on my channel i put 3 minute video for the formulas do watch that i am sure that video will help you to understand what is that thing or what is not acha ji uh, step number 1 is actually i don't remember stuff myself step number 1 is slow down step number 2 is guys put in the chat box the seven step Let's slow down read the last line first step number 3 is use elimination technique step number 
identify the keyword step number 5 uh, have a serving leadership mentality step number 6 identify the life cycle predictive age etc etc i'll also show i'll show you the book in a minute this piyush piyush good to see you man uh, this is three point formula for what uh, this is triangular distribution what about beta distribution what are you supposed to review in the last days in the last days uh, the, the, the first of all we need to uh, look into that that what mocks you are doing first of all if you have done good mocks i would recommend to the lesson learns okay and didha since you are my student i will make a plan for you for each days what you need to do first you need to do 60 people question then process question then 180 question then even for last day i'll share the material ji guys anyone else thanks uh, thank you for asking the question your questions give me energy ji anyone else any question okay Three point estimation, beta distribution. For what? Remember this thing: when the exam does not ask about that thing, always when the exam does not ask, always use beta distribution. Thanks, Amir. Can you please touch base about the RCA technique? From I'll show you in the solving the question answers when you are uh, doing uh, how to do the root cause analysis and elimination technique. Yes, for sure. I'll show you in a while. Okay. Thank you very much. You responded well. No, nobody do that. Thank you. then yeah for a apart from this thing just understand this thing when i say lesson learn lesson learn is identified what did you do wrong in the question uh, what did you do uh, wrong in the question and uh, what did you do in the right in the question and take that lesson by learning the explanation from the question and put it in a excel file that is the lesson learn okay thank you thank you Rough paper is provided in the exam center, Piyush. Uh, if you first of all, you guys, you can give the exam in center, or you can give exam at home. Both options are available, right? So I highly recommend that you give the exam in the centers. Okay, we give the exam in the center. In the center, they will give you paper and pen, paper and pencil, and uh, you can uh, write things on it. But you are not allowed to take the paper with you. Funny story. when my wife gave the exam for pmp and uh, she did not get a paper it was more like a plastic paper she brought that paper uh, home and the person who was in charge there he actually knew me it was in the my city and i sent a lot of students to him so he next day called me said that so that is the pm i pearson uh, property if you can return the paper so next day i went there to give that plastic paper back to them yeah that is an interesting thing thank you i have completed the understand the thank you thank you very much guys do like this videos we have more than 80 people watching at different mechanism but less than 50 likes please let's go to the 100 what sadia is saying sadia is saying 100% right okay uh, uswa kaval what is the most difficult and okay now uswa that depends from students to student okay the, it depends from student to student but normally uh, agile is the most complex topic for student and the most important topic for the exams are agile stakeholder communication team if you master these four topic agile stakeholder communication team i'll make sure uh, we pm your pmp exam will be for sure okay this is a important thing okay ji is the time ticker always yes hasib just like when we are going to solve the question downside it is on the right side the time ticker just like the Uh, my simulator that ticker is almost just like that the concept said thank you do they in the just like you have a calculator in your uh, computer similarly the software will have a calculator in it for what okay sir in general how the pmp exam are distributed between the okay samir as i said uh, your exam is basically based on uh, exam content outline for which the material i am giving you uh, so what you need to do the exam will have agile stakeholder communication team these four topics agile stakeholder communication 
team as the 80% in the exam that is the feedback from the grant student yes kaval thank you very much agile stakeholder communication team that is the heart and soul of pmp exam okay thank you for saying the 1000 likes uh, avish if in pmp question not mention we will consider that a hybrid question what do you, what do you mean by hybrid question put in the chat box how do you how do you uh, know that this is hybrid question put in the chat box when the questions are hybrid question basically you need a change request to handle it you will act as a servant leader and you have plans for everything okay like we took servant mentality from agile uh, we collaborate with the customer from the agile but we do documentation and change request is required that's kind of a mix that is the hybrid what we consider for the pmp exam i hope that makes sense predictive plus adaptive uh, can you uh, yeah this is five topics agile stakeholder communication team four not five uh, amir pmp exam has 180 questions out of 180 question 175 176 will be mcqs with one option okay one or two question that will be mcqs with select two or three right and two to three will be drag and drop questions okay guys ji anyone else ji all right okay can we carry over yes you can carry wallet you can carry your mobile but when you go to the center uh, you can see there are locker behind me right there there are locker behind me so similar just like this the exam center has locker okay and you can put your mobile wallet there okay and uh, they will give you key and after that you can have that locker or that thing with you or if they don't have locker mostly they have if they don't have they will Uh, turn your mobile phone and they will take it and the wallet they will allow you to carry it with you but they may check it hi katija the best way to the best way to answer any question is to look for options what solve the problem okay so piyush it depends from person to person i have seen three different ways for solving the question answers let let me explain you that, that. first step first step is this when you are solving the question read the last line first okay read the last line first then go to the question then option that is the first way second way read the last line first and read the option actually i do this in my real exam whenever i am solving the questions i solve it in this way especially my program management and i teach this to program management ha uh, somebody was asking about the long question this is what you need to do for the long question because in program management you have all the questions of a one paragraph so read the last line and then the option 90% of the time you get the answer then you read the first line okay and look the options and then the question answer so this way you can do it piyush i hope that makes sense to you so for hybrid change request customer collaboration document and plan the other yeah yeah for what very well pointed out how we identify them i just shared it uh, okay can you please elaborate incremental and iterative delivery okay for incremental it's very easy to understand incremental is just like how the seasons drama serials or the if you watch john wick uh, how those movies are released step by step step by step step by step step by step scope is fixed okay faisal the scope is fixed but delivery is in parts okay for example sometime it happens you get the complete mall mall the mall opens in part this day this 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 or grid stations now grid station 1 will open then 2 then 3 that is incremental iterative approach uh, is mainly used uh, you share something they get the feedback you you work on it uh, then you improve it and keep on doing that keep on doing that keep on doing that this is one of the way this is one of the way that you keep on working into that okay this is iterative prototypes are made uh, into that way okay g risk and issue dipti uh, are you connected to me on linkedin if not yesterday 
uh, the day before yesterday actually because linkedin and it was uh, not linkedin many of the students were getting confused between risk and issues okay many of student does get confused between risk and issue so what i did i basically made a video on this thing about risk and issue uh, not video i made a small post uh, that you can look into that and that will help your thing forever but since you asked the question here let me answer here risk must have two things it must be identified before happening it must be identified before happening that is the first thing okay that is the first thing it must be identified before it is happened that is the first thing dipti i am sharing the linkedin the link here okay that it must be identified before it happen that is the first thing okay and you must have plan for it even if you identified it you did not have a plan and that happen it goes into issue issue is something that has happened okay issue is something that has already happened issue is something that has already happened this is important thing to understand happen and issue is always negative dip is it clear my friend the risk and issue is important thing you will get a lot of question like that i am happy that you are lagging it fast ask more question i am available here my entire night is open uh, yes the weightage for each question for easiness you should understand it's one mark can we use that translate no no zafar saab you need to prepare yourself that is why i highly recommend you do good quality of mocks you do good quality of mocks prepare for them for example uh, uh, for my students who suffer these things what i do there's a lot of question that they have to go through so once they are there their english becomes at least that level this is a very important thing because pmi for arabic people they are giving exam in arabic for many language they are giving like 15 language they are not doing in hindi or urdu as of now but maybe they do in future like this thank you is clear acha rolling wave planning and progressive elaboration rolling wave planning and progressive elaboration uh, are basically both same thing okay are basically both same thing what does both mean initially you plan at high level you plan at high level but as you move forward as you move forward you start planning it in detail okay i'll explain one more time initially you plan at high level but as you move forward you start planning that thing in detail this is both of them both planning rolling wave and progressive now progressive elaboration is used in predictive rolling wave planning is used in agile that's the second difference third thing progressive elaboration is used for plans like project management plan schedule plan 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 rolling wave planning is used for activity we use it at activity level that is rolling wave planning i hope priyush that is clear to you i iterative is mostly prototyping yes yeah guys this is the link of the article uh, link of that thing okay acha a very important thing that i want to i want that yesterday i put a linkedin article on uh, 18 plans and 33 documents if you haven't read that please go that that is a game changer for you i it took me at least 6 to 8 hours to collect the data write it review it review it review it, and then put that article why because one, you will not get a question in the exam that is directly asking you about that thing okay but you must know the 18 plans and 33 documents into that we are here yes guys please do like it uh, i have heard yes yes we'll coach you guide you till you become pmp teach very well thank you you're going to best teacher thank you spartans thank you you are awesome yeah i know that okay your explanations are excellent thank you very much 230 plus okay which are good mocks of course i can recommend my mocks uh, you can get that you can get my mocks plus yeah i would recommend apart from my mocks because in my mocks i am continuously updating and you also get pmi atk mocks you can get uh, 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 3d broy mocks on udemy 
वागडे आजम मॉक्स ऑन यू डैमी एंड दीज आर टू गुड मॉक्स ऑन यू डैमी देन यू कैन गेट ई डी यू हाउ स्पॉट एंड पी एम पेपकास्ट दीज आर गुड मॉक्स दीज आर गुड मॉक्स बिकॉज यू डोंट नीड टू हैव दैट सिंस यू आर माई स्टूडेंट यू विल गेट ऑल दोज मॉक्स वट आर नीडेड फॉर दैट या ओके ओके यस्टरडे यू पोस्टेड एटीन प्लान प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग business case and benefit management plan that is benefit realization plan they are business documents there are three things in pmp to understand one is business document business case benefit management plan that are plans pre project plan then project charter a document that does not belong to anyone where then comes the 18 plans all these 18 plan okay all these 18 plan is basically all these 18 plans are part of project management plan if you read article wasik uh, in the article i wrote it clearly that all plans are part of project management plan let me show you so that uh, for everyone this becomes very very clear all plans are all plans are you look at the project management the primary document how the plans will be monitored so all plans are actually part of project management plan and benefit management plan supersedes or is not the part of that okay it's not the part of that that is why 61 not three likes here as then we have uh, how many likes yes guys please do like this video if you haven't like it it can start coming into the algorithm okay is there any way to review the answer once we uh, yes uh, if you are talking about in the exam in the exam yes you can review the answers Once you go back there, okay, you can review the answers there. No, uh, for the every sixty question, after every sixty question, the exam will ask you, do you do you want to ask anything? Things like that. But document, uh, no sponsor approve all the plans. No, all the plans, all the thirty three document, few sponsor does not approve. He has nothing to do that. Okay, thank you. Work breakdown structure versus activity list. Work breakdown structure. is basically the hierarchical breakdown of entire work okay activity list is actually become the part of that okay activity list is a part of that which you do in later on is a highest level then you go to the next level to that way okay thank you very much thank you sadia thank you thank you can you share the link of for the yesterday for artificial on article on linkedin okay i'll share the link but uh, If you are not connected to my LinkedIn, I highly recommend that you get connected. Here is the link of the article to all my students. I shared in the group. Okay, okay, guys. I guess if you have any question, you can also ask. Okay, okay. Let's start solving the question answers. If you have any.